Hello guys, welcome to the watch channel. My name is Oliver and today I am going to unbox and give you my first impressions on a very very special Laco watch. Uh, I'm very excited to show you this and I'm excited to take a look at it myself. Uh, this is no ordinary watch uh, or Laco watch as you can see by the box. It is huge. It is probably the biggest box I've ever had uh, and it is a Laco Paderborn Adipstück. Uh, so I'm going to Try and take this out, uh, that made a lot of noise. And here is the inner box, beautiful wooden box with the logo uh, etched in or something. I'm gonna try and take it out. This box is so big, I can't believe how big it is. There we go, it barely fits in the frame. So let's open up the box. Here it is. As you can see, as I already showed you, it is the Laco Paderborn Adipstück. There's a little information booklet about it. Uh, I don't know how to open up this one. There we go. There is the warranty card, and there is some uh, instructions. So the box is really nice. It's the nicest Laco box I've seen by far. Uh, it's probably one of the nicest watch boxes I've seen. Uh, it's, it feels very high quality, has that vintage look. I also have the Laco logo, I'll try and show you up there. And I think you can open up this and you can hide something down here if you want. Uh, but let's take a close look at the watch, just one moment. So here is the watch, it looks amazing. Uh, so if you don't know what the Arabstuk is, uh, it is as you can see a worn or like a patinaed uh, version, it's made to look very very old and uh, there are three different grades of this uh, you have grade one which has just some scratches on the case but no like deep scratches and then you have number two, look at this uh, this is number two, grade two uh, which has some uh, deeper scratches on the case as we can see here uh, this is the normal version, the one you see pictures of on their websites uh, then you have a grade three which has like the loom uh, fallen out of the hands and things like that uh, which is even more worn than this one uh, so this one is the Powderborn, it's 42 millimeter in diameter, it has the B dial and uh, it's very very cool, here you have the text on the side uh, FL23883 all these Lacos have that text, uh, the expensive versions, not the basic models, here's the crown uh, sapphire crystal with anti-reflective treatment it has a ETA uh, movement uh, elaborate grade I believe it's the 2824 and uh, let's try and wind it up I'll screw down the crown on this so we can just wind it and there it starts going let's try and set the time because there is a date underneath I think is it? No. I don't think so. Okay, there we go. Uh, beautiful watch, you know, very special, very unique. All these models are handmade or like hand worn. <laughs> I don't know how you uh, would uh, describe it, but they are every single piece is unique. They all look a little bit different, and I think that's very, very cool. And it's a, it's a very special watch indeed. And the strap is also very like vintage look to it. And it looks worn. And I don't really understand how this is supposed to be worn, but it's a very unique looking strap. It's like a different kind of mechanism here. I'm not gonna try and wear this uh, because I'm not gonna fuck this up. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to show you this watch because it's so special. Uh, I can also show you the case back uh, if we can. There we see some information right there. Very, very cool. So this watch is very, very special. I thought I wanted to show it to you because I thought it's so uh, cool and unique. Uh, I'm gonna try the loom on this. Just give me one moment. I'm gonna try and charge up the loom and then see how that is. Uh, so here's the loom. Uh, it's not so dark in here, but you get an idea of what it looks like. And it's not very even. Uh, which I think is a really nice touch. It looks very like vintagey, 
and uh, that's also very nice I thought maybe the loom was you know perfect but it's like this and uh, I, I really like that it's a very nice touch uh, so that's uh, pretty much it guys I just want to show you this very very cool Laco I love the hands they are thermally blued uh, which gives it a nice little uh, pop of color uh, I love the patina on this you know it's made really well uh, it's very very cool I think that Laco does this uh, I don't know any other brands that do it uh, quite like this and uh, yeah what do you guys think of this watch uh, you know, it's very expensive it's 1950 euros so uh, would you buy a Laco for that money I think the price is probably correct for the, for the watch I do understand why it costs so much uh, personally I would I would just get the normal version which I also really love uh, but uh, it's a very cool piece very unique and uh, let me guys know what you think also please subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it and uh, please like the video and i'll see you guys very very soon goodbye